Okay, what is going on, everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a hectic couple of weeks, hasn't been? It's it, it definitely has, especially mentally. And I just wanted to make this quick video to remind y'all to take care of your mental health, especially if you are a black person. Where I feel the pain, and it's a lot mentally. It's a very mentally taxing. Where you you get sort of overwhelmed with everything going on with like the protests, with all the social media activism, just having conversations with people, whether it be like family members or friends alike. And after a while, it gets really draining. And after a while, you feel like you just can't take it anymore. You just, you're tired of hearing bad news all the time. Now, if you're one of those black people who are out, you know, educating your non-black friends, I salute you. I've been doing the same thing myself over the past couple of weeks, but there's something I want y'all to know. I was having a conversation with my friend last week and they were saying that, so educating your non-black friends is providing a privilege to them and you need to protect your own energy and your own mental health before you go out educating people. Because really, if you're not taking the steps to take care of yourself, how can you expect to take care of other people? I want to give you all a few things you can do to help bring up your mental health if you found yourself breaking down or if you just want to maintain your mental health. Keep doing these things and I assure you you're going to be okay in the long run. First thing you can do, turn off your phone. If you're watching this on your phone, turn it off. You can come back to the video later. Just turn off your phone, please. Turn off your phone and disconnect for a few hours. You need it, trust me when I tell you this. Literally the past week of the time of this recording, I had a migraine because I was just so overwhelmed. I was on my phone for hours and hours on end, just talking to people on the phone, going through Twitter, going through Instagram, reposting, donating, signing petitions on my phone. Everything I was doing on my phone, just getting becoming aware of the situation. And I burnt out, literally lack of sleep, plus so much blue light entering my eyes. I, I developed a migraine, refused to take medicine because I was thought I was strong enough to handle it, but. It got worse over time until I actually took the steps to hydrate myself, sleep better, and actually take medication to make sure the migraine goes away. If you feel like you need your phone turned on at all times, make sure you turn off the notifications. Because when you turn off the notifications, you won't be getting all the dings and the bells and the whistles alerting you to go check your phone every two seconds. That way you can check all your social media apps when you want to. And when you're not getting notified, you don't feel the urge to reply or you don't feel the urge to check out what's happening. Another thing you can do to help your mental health right now is go on some walks. Just go and get some fresh air. It doesn't matter where you live, just go for a quick 15 to half an hour walk, even an hour walk if you need to. Just get some fresh air, get some oxygen. That way it'll help your brain a hell of a lot. Another thing you can do is talk to someone in person. One thing that I find that was going on a lot, we're always on the phone or we're always FaceTiming people, but when you actually have that face-to-face -face interaction, it kind of relieves stress because you're able to express yourself. And the person on the other side is seeing you express yourself and you're letting all this emotion out. And it could be your brother, your sister, your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, roommates, whoever, whoever you're in close proximity with, go and talk to them in person about all this. And I mentioned before, but make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking two liters of water a day or a gallon a day if you're watching this in America. I mean, your body's made up of 70% water and staying hydrated just helps all your bodily functions function better. That's just a quick list of things you can do right now to help your mental health. I know, like I said before in the beginning of this video, Times are really tough right now. Rest in peace to George Floyd. And rest in peace to Regis Kurtisky Paquette. And rest in peace to the thousands of cases that go unheard and unreported. All the black people who are dying wrongfully. It is tough. And you start to see that when social media trends are dying down, you don't want to think that, oh, everything's going back to normal. It's not going back to normal. Social media is just getting more quiet. That's all it is. And I know people who are out protesting, this can be really daunting to you. If you're watching this, I urge you to take the steps to make sure your mental health is on par. That is all I got for y'all today. Thank you for watching. Share this with a friend and make sure you're checking up on your friends, especially my non-black people. Check on your black friends during these times. And if you're out there protesting, continue to stay safe. Once again, easy.